Our August collection finds inspiration in the garden. The sea salt design team explored the work of Gertrude Jekyll. Gertrude was a famous gardener and plant collector, influenced by the arts and crafts movement, who designed over 400 gardens in Britain and abroad, and often holidayed in Cornwall. Like many women of the arts and crafts movement, Gertrude's was an amazing creative talent. She was a writer, publishing books and gardening features in country life, and she also loved painting, craft and photography. Gertrude gathered ideas from the art world for her expressive designs and was known for her particularly artistic approach to planting. She had an incredible eye for colour and form and created informal painterly effects with colour drifts inspired by William Turner's paintings. In contrast to the formal gardens of previous generations, Gertrude's natural style came to define the idea of an English garden and she remains influential today. Her style is reflected in the gardens of modern Cornish landscape designer Sam Ovens, who is our modern creative this month. Like Gertrude's designs, Sam's gardens respond to their environment, giving them a strong sense of place. We love the way his outdoor spaces combine naturalistic planting and sustainable contemporary design. Our palette is a celebration of colour, taking its cues from late summer and flowers growing in Gertrude's gardens. Echinacea flower heads bring a warm, rich umber red to our August palette, which we've added to with accents of deep pink in our prints. The warmth is balanced by cooler shades of cornflower blue and navy, alongside neutral tones of seagrass green. Mossy green bricked pathways inspired our yellowy green creek colour, which we've kept fresh with accents of ecru and chambray blues. We've also paired fresh ecru with warm chestnut brown, in a strong seasonal update that feels really new. A softer ginger shade that evokes dried grasses is set against cool lichen grey blue and a lively grape purple, creating an interesting mix, pulling together the tones of late summer borders. This print is called Garden Tulip and um, I just wanted to create a really simple fluid floral um, with lots of movement. Um, it's inspired by uh, Gertrude's painterly planting and her lovely um, use of, of colour um, within her plants um, in the borders. And so I um, created some very loose, simple drawings with a brush pen, um, drawings of tulips, and then um, worked into them with paint as well and layered those up just to create this really fluid um, floral with quite a lot of movement. So this is one of my favourite little prints. I painted some little echinacea heads and I was imagining them growing up to the sun in Gertrude's beautiful late summer gardens. And yeah, this in the repeat you can see they're all sort of like little faces looking mm -hmm. up towards the light. It's just a yes. joyful print. Yeah, simple but effective. Mm. And we always love a sort of form of a daisy. Yeah. Mm. So this is a stunning print called Sketched Hedgerow and it's been built from these beautiful, quite stylized illustrations of seed heads and flowers that you'd find growing in wild hedgerows and Cornish gardens. It's lovely in this sort of one, two colour iteration and then the really quirky blue base with the pops works wonderfully as well. Yeah, I love it with these pops mm. of red. Yeah, really unexpected, aren't they? 